Amelia Bedelia, dude. Amelia Bedelia. She just... Was Amelia Bedelia neurodivergent? She might have been. She might have been. So Amelia Bedelia... She just does things really backwards, but she's doing her best. So, like... There was part of an Amelia Bedelia book where they were like, oh, can you change the curtains? And they meant, like, close them. Here she is. Amelia Bedelia put the lights out, so those things need to be aired out too, just like pillows and babies. What else did she do? Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes. I did, I did, as she held up her picture. La Mau. She drew the curtains. That was the one, Pip. That was the one. The secret book series. Ooh, I don't remember that. The magic key with Biff, Chip, and Kipper. That's the fucking Britishest shit I've ever heard, Tea Cozy. Autistic icon. I feel it. I like her. What a sweet lady. Here she is drawing the curtains, the drapes. What's this one? So Mid Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. She just poured makeup all over it. What's this one? We shall return in two hours, cleaner, shouted Mrs. Vanderbilt, the new cleaning lady, Amelia Bedelia. I left you a list. What the heck does that... No, I think that one's wrong. I don't know. That one didn't look correct. Why is there a statue of Amelia Bedelia? What was the other one I had? Let me see. Boxcar children? I remember that one. There was one... What is this? Amelia Bedelia is like dad jokes. My wife is going into labor. What should I do? Is this her first child? No, this is her husband. It's true. The Kipper Chip and Biff. Damn. There was, um... There was... I think it was Judy Bloom. And I don't know why as a kid this stuck with me so much. It was either Junie B. Jones or Judy Bloom, where there was, like, a weird smell in the house for the kids. And they were, like, trying to figure out what it was from. And apparently, like, a dog, one of the dogs kept, like, hissing. And they called it the Mystery Pisser. And the Mystery Pisser has always made me laugh. The Mystery Pisser. Mystery Pisser. I'm sure I will get a band, Fictional Music World. What is it from? American hard rock band that consisted of fictional music. Well, what was it from? Why is there so many previous former members of it? Who the fuck is Mystery Pisser? From Flipped? Is that what it was? That makes sense. Oh my god, what the hell is this book? Okay, so there was a book called Flipped. Which I remember from... I can remember the cover of it. It's this. Adventures of Asterix and Obelix. No, I didn't ever get to read those. We just call them Tilleron. Is Tilleron the mystery pisser? What a cute book. Okay. I forgot that this even existed. I did like, I read so much as a kid. So that's what Mystery Pisser is from. Things start to change, things with Julie start to change when she begins giving Bryce and his family weekly batches of chicken eggs. They worry that because her yard has always been very messy that the eggs may contain, contain salmonella. His father tells him to stop accepting, accepting eggs from Julie, but rather than risk hurting her feelings, he just throws the eggs away every morning. Despite his efforts, she accidentally discovers what his family thinks about her and her eggs. 
Her feelings for Bryce deteriorate even further when she overhears him talking to a classmate about her mentally challenged uncle. Julie, furious and hurt, decides to abandon every thought of Bryce. Meanwhile, he has started to notice and like Julie more and more, especially after he finds an old article about her protest for her tree. Spoilers. Not a bad... Not a bad book. Read any horror as a kid? No. Not really. Here's the book that I... This is the book that I got so embarrassed that I read because it had some like semi-sexy sexy scenes in it that I threw them in the trash. <laughs> because, all right, you've heard this story before. I'll say it again in case anyone hasn't. I stayed up binging these books until like 2 or 3 a.m. I can't remember which one of the series it was. And then I went to go have like... I went to go see my dad the next day, and I only saw him on, like, some weekends and stuff. Um, and my dad was like, oh, what'd you do last night? Or this weekend? And I was like, oh, I stayed up super late reading a book. And he goes, wow, it must have been a good book, just innocently. And I was like, he knows it had sex in it. So as soon as I got home, I threw all of them in the dumpster outside of my house so that I wouldn't get caught. This series of books. Did you have these? Dracula doesn't drink lemonade. I saw a TikTok the other day that said this was just children making fun of queer people, which makes me laugh so hard because this one is like Dracula. He looks a little. He looks a little sassy. And then we've got like this lesbian teacher vampires don't wear polka dots and the kids are just like what is this woman doing this fucking lesbian queen or alternatively oof star gaming um this leprechauns don't play basketball like this gay icon of this fucking gym teacher Bride of Frankenstein doesn't bake cookies. Frankenstein doesn't start food fights. So it's basically like a new teacher would start teaching at their school and they would be like, this teacher's like an, a monster of some kind. Pirates don't wear pink sunglasses. Let's see that one. Pirates don't wear... Pop off this pirate! Pop off this pirate! If Captain Teach is a pirate, then where is the treasure? Look at this guy! This is amazing. I guess they re- like, they redrew the covers of some of them, but the old ones are way better. Who's this one? The Adventures of the Bailey School Kids. Something about Frankenstein. How funny is that? Werewolves don't go to summer camp. Look at this beautiful hairy man. Are you saying these children's books are gay converting our children? I think the problem with this was that it's children picking on queer people, which it <laughs> it's not intended at all for that. But just the fact that someone said that made me laugh. 